Here we go. Go, Michael. Show us what you're doing. Well, right now I'm working on a stock. And I'm layering a board. And I kind of did a star in which kind of looks like a sun. And Good. the soul's behind it. That's fantastic. Just go get the paints and show them how you're doing it. So this painting right here, it's, it's very fresh. That's all wet paint on top. So this so is how he does it. So I'm just doing it. I'm just like wording everything in. So cool. I like that. But different colors. See, he's been going through it. Keep going. Go get other ones too, Michael. Do you see the other big dots and blobs and stuff? So we have been sitting here watching it. And I was like, oh, I left my iPhone downstairs. So well, I can record this. I to have right so cool. And I don't want anything to be perfect or even. I know. Because what did you say about the sun and the star? What what kind of colors would you say about that? Well, the sun has all colors in it. Yeah. But we don't know. Mm. We don't see it. Just like clouds have all colors in it. Mm. Because um, that's just the way it goes. Yeah. See, but I'm kind of like basically like there. Kind of because everything you know, can't be neat with me. I don't like neatness. It has to be very smooth. But it really is, it's very you know, vibrant. It comes, out, it comes out really good, right? But, well, it comes out really good because that's what you see. I don't see that. But, like, every time he adds a different color, and I'm colorblind, it's just perfect. It's just so. And I drop some one way, and I drop some another way, so that there's all sliced up. Yeah, well, because there is some thought behind it. Like because you, when you, look you at know what direction it's going to go in. So if you look at it like if I rotate the camera, it could be looked at like that, right? Like, and when you look at the sun, it's all sliced up, right? But then if so you go from the side, you can go from the side all the way over there, all the way down. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Mm. And then I have to look at texture. So tell me, how long would this take to dry? Oh, this is going to take at least five days. So you have to make sure at least, or or not, because other your paintings, you can keep it on its side, well, and then... I turn them on my side, and I let them run. And then it runs. It's like those things. Classic point example here. Do you see that? Do you see the run marks? So it would be like the same kind of painting. Yeah, I love, I love drips. I, I do love too. Drips. I think that's really cool. You know what's cool. great about drips? People I think love... that piece has a home already, but sorry if you're looking at it. You know what's great about drips? People love to look at them because they like to see where they start and finish. Yeah, it's nice. And what I do is I put them upside down. So one time they go in this way and that, next time they go in that way. So like the block, like the, the, the bigger places like that you're putting here, if we turn this on its side, they could run and it makes a drip. Yeah. It can make a drip. In this case, I, I, I wouldn't want it to run. Yeah, yeah. It but, depends on what technique you're trying to use. Um, but yeah, sometimes I love running paintings. I do them a lot. Look at Because this is the oil. Paint. This is the oil, right? Uh, no, this is acrylic. But, acrylic. Um, but when it's thick, it still takes a second to dry. Well, oil takes a, a really long time to yeah, dry. Yeah, oil right? is a pain in the ass. Okay. Because it's just, it just doesn't take a Another fire island. Oh, with the humidity. Um, yeah. It takes forever because of the humidity. Yeah, yeah. You know, the humidity could kill you. So this is all considered acrylic. Yeah. Mm, what's that? I'm kind of going through a lot of paint right now. But what are you going to do? Well, that's okay. It if really you works. Done, you can let it, I mean, if you think that's enough, it looks great. Well, this great. is like 36 dollars oh. worth of paint. I think it looks good. Uh, what do you think? Yeah. Right. I just like when you see where there's a hole that kind of needs to be filled, or like a a spot, a blank well, spot. Like color on it. too. You know, yeah. like some places need color. Like mm. this is eventually going to need like a little dot. Mm -hmm. Because the whole thing is dark with purples and dark greens, but this is like white, so I need to get a dog in there. Mm -hmm. but, uh, 
I think it looks great already. You know, just so it has um, some, some formity to it. So it'll just go like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you create balance. You want yeah, it's all balance. about yeah, it's all mm -hmm. juxtaposition and portion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have to work with proportion. I love proportion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I like. See, now it looks really good, right? Like a good piece of pie. Yeah. And I, I don't discriminate against any color. Every color is the beginning. You know, yeah. some people like, oh, I don't like that color. Or they only paint with like certain tones. Yeah, no, I let every color in. Mm -hmm. Can't be prejudiced to any color. Mm -hmm. well, I mean, some I just do certain colors, but in this case. So pretty. Right? You know, mm -hmm. really kind of dry. You're not really good. So you can just let it dry for a little bit. Yeah. I think I'm all good with colors. That's Maybe great. put a little brown in here. I'm not afraid to use brown. I like brown. I like brown and pink together. Mm. Okay, so that's good. Beautiful, good job. It goes this way, actually. There we go. Oh, that's the way you want it to be viewed? Oh, yeah, because this is sort of like the land. There's some greenery, but I may fix that. And then you have the star all the way here, like spreading out over the whole universe. Oh. But then you have like, these little souls tucked behind them. Not only that, once this gets outside and gets weathered a little bit, some of the souls will start to show through the star. Mm. You know, because everything I... I, when I paint, it's layered. When I paint, I figure it's going to get rained on, layered on, you know, and then it'll, then some of these will even come through more. That's so cool. Yeah, it came out Any last cool. words? Um, uh, I don't know. I, I just think that everybody is the star. Everybody. To this whole effing ordeal. <laughs> we've, we've gotten together. I mean, how about New York State? People in New York City, I am so proud of you. We've had some flaws. You have that terrible thing happen today, but most people have been very good. Yeah, I'm very resilient. Yeah, um, we're figuring and it out. People respect everybody, I think. Yeah, I, think so I mean, too. we have done our best. Yeah, you know, that's what we're doing. Really, New York I have to praise New York City. We're all getting our shots, right? State. We're all getting our shots uh, in the building. I'm not going to comment on Como, but he did do a good job through this whole pandemic. But we've also all got our, we're getting our shots and stuff. Oh, like we're doing please. a good job. Yeah, everyone's got a shot. Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah. Good job, Michael. This came out good. Good job. Let it dry now. Yeah. Till next time. Yeah.